All right, so this is part two. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I can't believe this is part two and it's, the, the, the part one was longer. But same way, we're going to re react to this. Give me um, season one, episode one, um, Amy called Speed Dating, back to back. You know what I mean? I say Amy called Speed Dating, but this, ain't, this episode is about Amy. You know what I mean? However, back to back. Season 1, episode 1. Sounds weird saying this because I want to react to the other ones. If it's still uploaded, I'm, I'm going to possibly react to those as well. Um, but anyway, I say possibly, I'm not 100% too sure. Because I want to stay up to date as well at the same time. But that's one thing, a good thing about YouTube is... Get me, you can go back in the past and see certain things. But anyway, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. Let's go. So passionate. Uh, my passions, I love to dance. Um, I'm trying to get into DJing. So I do love a lot of music. That's my, also my other passion. What's, who's your favorite artist? Be Beyonce, I can't lie. No, women. Women, do not say your passion. See, this is. <sighs> Obviously, yes, that is their passion. Don't get it twisted. Because your passion is a passion. Maybe it's just me saying. Maybe it's because I want to hear women say that their passion is cooking, their passion is, you know. You know, looking after their nieces and nephews or their French children and whatnot. Get me? Or their passion is just nurturing. Like, that to me is a sign of femininity and stuff like that. That feminine vibe. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I think. I'm not saying you should say that just for the sake of coming across feminine if you're a woman watching this. And the thing is, I'm not say and, and I'm not saying for a man that they should say things that sound masculine for them to come across masculine. Genuinely be that. Genuinely have that passion. Do you see what I mean? Genuinely have that passion. Like one of my passions, yeah. Now it's a newfound passion, I can't lie. It's literally working out. Like it, it's it's a genuine passion. Because now I know what I'm more or less I'm more I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's funny because I'm now that I know more of what I'm doing, I'm more, I'm, not only am I seeing the results, but let's not get into that, because this ain't about me, innit? Let's go. So, yeah. Do you see the people who like Beyonce, I've noticed, yeah? Is, yeah. They've got like, they think they're Beyonce, just because they like Beyonce. Nah, that's a lie. You know why? Because I like Beyonce, but I don't mean to say that I see myself as Beyonce. I see myself as Raphael Anoche or Raphael Anoche Obeyawana or Raphael Obeyawana as it was on my birth certificate at birth. But let's go into let's get into it because these people are shining in the background and I don't want them to be overtaking my team. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, listen, I will end up getting up and I will end up shouting out my balcony and telling them to shut up, bruv. You know what I mean? But I don't want to say that because they're my neighbors. Get me? Anyway, let's go. Because sometimes you've got to be cordial with your neighbours, isn't it? Sometimes it's better to be cordial with your neighbours. Get me? Let's go. Are you one of those people? Not really, no, not really. But a little bit of her resembles in me. Okay, so if you're not one of those people, if we're on a date, who's paying for that date? Both of us. Both of us? Yeah. Women. Be careful now. Be careful now when you're answering these type of questions. Be careful. You know why I'm saying be careful? Because at the end of the day, when it comes to these type of things. Anyway, let's go. Let's just go. First date. First date, 100%. <laughs> because I think that's too much of a pick me answer. Like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is uh, this is another reason that prompted me to react to this because of this particular part. A mini, or not, I'm not talking about a mini directly. If you are a man watching this and a woman gives you a pick me answer, pick her up. That works in your favor as a man. I'm telling you, it works in your favor. Of course, she's gonna say things like, if she if she's interested in you, naturally, she's going to say things and do things 
to try and impress you. That's what you want. That's what you actually need and want. So if she's telling you these things, like, okay, we'll split half. Do you know what I mean? We'll go, what do you call it? Call it Dutch or whatever. Like, then obviously you say, okay, well, this is what you said. So I'm going to hold you to it. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, you need to focus your energy on the fact of understanding whenever a woman gives you pick me answers that you, or answers that you, you perceive as pick me vibes, pick her up, lad. Pick her up. Pick her up. Get me? Not with no pickup lines, but literally pick her up, bruv. You know what I mean? Pick her up and take her to the date, bruv. You know what I mean? So, or whatever, vibe, do what you want to do. But like, do you see what I mean? It works in your favour. You need to understand the power you have as a man. Like, when a w woman is that interested in you and she's giving you signs that she's she's trying to impress you, that is what you want. Like, I... Anyway, let's go. No one knew I should be paying. Do you get it? It's a pick me answer. I'm not f with that. Mm -hmm. Then, then one new pick me's around here. Yes, you, you do. should be getting picked. It's too, too perfect of an answer. And then one is, I want the true answer, not what you'd want me to hear. Like I said, it is. That's the whole idea. That's the whole idea with dates or the dating stage or dating phase. Yeah, even in relationships, that's still the idea. The idea is if the person is interested in you, yeah, or the woman is interested in you in this case, that if she's really, really interested in you, she will say things or do things to impress you. Even if it's not something that she entirely likes. It's like sometimes there's some women, believe it or not, that don't enjoy cooking. Yeah, they don't enjoy cooking or they enjoy cleaning, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? If they're interested in you, guess what happens? They will do it for the sake of they know that's what you would like for them to do. Even if you don't say it, they will just do it. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they're trying to impress you, stay in your good books so they can be with you. Like, don't be surprised when, when women will literally do and say anything to be around you to, to, to don't listen. And I'm just saying from experience as well, like from experience, like it's, it's, it's so much better when women are trying to literally impress you and say anything and do anything. It's so much better. Like, it, cause yeah, you obviously you want them to be truthful. Cool. But at the same time, it's like, it just makes sense when they are just doing and saying anything to impress you. The key thing I'm letting you know is impress you. But let's keep it moving. Hello. Sophia. Hi. Hi. The echo, Sophia. How's it going? Or Sophia. Good. You're the mystery man. The mystery man, yeah, I'm the mystery man. What's Do you like name? mystery? I'll keep that a mystery, my name. What's your name? Good. I'll keep that a mystery too. Nah, see, already I will, I will shock her. I will shock her. It's me that's supposed to be a mystery. Not you. You're supposed to, you are supposed to be interested in me. I, I, I'm supposed to be interested in you too. But like, you are supposed to be, you know what I mean? Tell me about you. You know what I mean? And let me remain mysterious. Get me? So that's what you want to do, man, Deb. Remain mysterious. Get me? Give one or two, two one up. Uh, give one up, uh, one word or two word answers. Don't give full sentences. Get me. Be mysterious. Can you ever wonder why, like, uh, I want, like, maybe your dad or your granddad or get me. Have you ever wondered why they are quiet? They don't say much, but when they do say something, it's one or two words. Like, you don't really hear much from them. Do you see what I'm saying? You know why? Because that is partly how you are meant to be as a man. Do you know what I mean? Not be yapping your gums. And you're probably thinking, well, you're yapping your gums. This is business, isn't it? If, when certain things 
take a turn, do you know what I mean? Like positively, obviously, then you're going to see less of me making videos, but it personally, but other people, like you'll see it. You, you, you're you going to see the progression, but let's go. Where are you from? Um, I'm from London. Where are you from? I grew up in Thailand, Egypt and Hong Kong, but wow. I'm half Cypriot, half British. What culture are you most in touch with? I feel like each culture that I lived in kind of shaped me differently. Like I picked... Mm -hmm. That's actually true. It's actually true. I was watching something. Um, oh, who was it? I forgot the person. I forgot who it was. But they said something like, because they travelled from a young age, they feel more cultured. Do you see what I mean? They don't have a viewpoint of someone or particular um, people or whatever. And the, I forgot what it was. I, what was it? I listen, you know the ones where you're going to realise afterwards? After, like, that's what I feel like. I feel like after I finish recording this, or when I'm editing this, I'm going to realise, I'm going to remember... Yeah, like, I can't remember what I was watching. Because I want to be specific so you can understand the importance of travel. Do you know what I mean? You you would feel more cultured. Do you know what I mean? Because you're seeing different cultures or you're experiencing different cultures. Get me, irrespective of what you look like or what your original cultures are. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's go. Morals from the different countries I've lived in, if that makes sense. If you were to, like, pick your perfect guy, then... What would be your type? Okay. Don't even think about it. Funny, smart, tall. Do you match any of those? You see, any man them asking that question, I need you to understand something. A woman's perfect guy, regardless of whatever they want to tell you. Yeah, like, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot, fuck it. She or this. Okay. Which she do you think it is? Okay, yeah. Regardless of what any woman says, or whatever they say, every woman wants a man, especially a feminine woman, they want a man that is masculine, yeah? Simple and plain. If you're a woman watching this, regardless of what any any man says, yeah, a man wants a woman that are feminine. Simple. It's, that's how nature is anyway, yeah? Because either way, if you're going to get into a situation and you're with them and you're more masculine than you're a woman, guess what's going to happen? He's going to be more feminine and you're going to be, be less attracted to that guy. And then eventually, you know what I mean? And you're going to, you know what I mean? But then, yeah, vice versa. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Tall. Hmm, I'm not picking up funny. Wow. You're not picking up funny? No. Yikes. Okay, are you funny? I don't know. You're not funny. It depends. I can yeah. tell you a joke. Tell me a joke. Okay. I'm afraid for the calendar. Why? Wow. Its days are numbered. I get the joke. I get it. But that was dry. But good enough for trying to tell a joke. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't go on and say you're going to tell a joke without being asked and the joke didn't bang. <laughs> Sorry. No Facts, I'm not sorry, your joke should have banged. <laughs> it's being funny and big funny in a girl that you need. Yeah, like a lot of girls have no substance. It's a joke. Like we're now back to back and you can't use your looks as a as a selling point anymore. And mm. it's a, <laughs> need more than that man. Inside and out. And I think inside is more important. So if you don't have the inside, I'm not interested. Sorry. Next, thank you. Hey guys, it's Benny from Word of the Curve. Yeah. Are you subscribed? Hell yeah! Have you at least liked this video? A hundred percent! I know what you're waiting for. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so that you can be alerted when we post. See you! I've already subscribed. Have you subscribed? Make sure you subscribe to their channel, you feel me? Subscribe to my channel too. But you can subscribe to their channel as well, even though they got more subscribers to me at the moment. But anyway, that's another story. But then they've been around longer than me, innit? So what can I say? Give me, big them up. Let's go. Exciting. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know what I like about her already? Um, Ali. Do you know what I like about her already? She already comes with such a feminine vibe. I don't know how to explain it. 
it's like you can feel the energy. I'm not saying that the other ones weren't feminine or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying already from her, her whole, do you know what I mean? The whole vibe came across feminine. In fact, I'm going to throw this out there. There was one situation, particular show that I was on. Um, I don't know when it's coming out. It is a dating show. Um, unfortunately, it's not on Word in the Curb. However, it was on something different. And um, I won't say exactly what it was. But I will say this. I never picked up the vibe that I found more attractive. Yeah? I, I find... Do you know what I mean? Like, In fact, there's probably one that was more feminine, but she wasn't as... But I could tell there was something about her that I didn't like. Or not didn't like, it was... How to explain it? I even found out afterwards that raw. Do you know what I mean? There's, there was shared baggage, basically. Get me? And I'm not about to unload that baggage. Get me? So you can keep that baggage. She's going to have to anyway. But anyway, let's go. Hi, Alex. Hi, Flo. What's Flo short for? Florine. Oh, pretty name. Thank you. It's French, but I'm actually German. Oh, you're wow. German. Yep. Okay, cool. You're German. You're German. Wow. You're actually <laughs> German. It's actually not. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, kind of hide the German accent as much as I can. You know, I, my aunt is German. Is she? Yeah. Are you like a family person like that? Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes uh, involuntarily, but definitely, yeah. Um, do, you, do you trust them? Yeah. You say you're a trusted person then? Um, it depends on the person. I don't trust just hmm. anybody. Even though she's saying these things, she's still giving me that feminine vibe that I like. Do you know what I mean? There's something about her, her that I genuinely like. Do you know what I mean? Like, aside from the looks, like, she's all right. Do you know what I mean? But it's a fact of, I like her still. I like Pippa as well. I like her looks a lot. But she supposed to ask them, so, yeah, gotta go. Okay, I have a question for you. Would you expect your boyfriend to give you his phone password? No. Go on. What would I do? Like, what would I do with it? <laughs> would you expect me to give, to give you mine? Yeah. To do what? Why not? Like, it's transparency. Why would he even ask that question? I'd get it if she asked that question. But him asking that question, to me, that's a bit strange. But each of their own. I mean, if you want to have it, you can. So what's your phone password? It's uh, my birthday. So what's your birthday? 21st of October. What's the oh, year? that's why. 1992. That's why. Her birthday's in October. 21st of October. I, what's weird is, I naturally attract women whose birthdays are around that. It's either, their birthday's either in October or November, usually in October, or if not that, you know what I mean? It's either in June or, yeah, or, or November. But anyway, yeah, wait. And April as well, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me forget about April. Um, but rah, uh, what? Who do you normally attract, like in terms of birthdays and stuff like that? In terms of dating and stuff like that, leave your answer in the comments below. What months? But well, rah, uh, now I get it. Do you know what I mean? Now I get why. Yeah, because it's, it's not just her feminine vibe. It's also her. It's yeah, it's that. Okay, let's go. Oh my nah. god, I'm too old, I know. Get of a cougar. <laughs> From the 1992, is that a cougar? Nin if she said 1972, or if she said 1962, then fair enough, that's a cougar. But if you're saying 1992, nah, you're not a cougar. You're not. She wasn't trying to say the last year. <laughs> it was a red flag. Fair enough. <sighs> but I like that she was German. Something different. But the age thing is like, I'm actually a baby boy. I'm not ready for marriage. That doesn't mean that you should get with her because 
Anyway, let me just keep it moving. But then, I like older women as well anyway, naturally, but technically for me, she's young for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 1992, that's young for me. That's another reason why I'm saying that's not even cougar. But if he's literally 23, then I can kind of get it. You know what I mean? Now we're on a break. What's your name? I'm Siam. I'm Alex. Hi Alex. Nice to kind of meet you. Tell me something about you. Just anything. Um, I'm half Thai. You're half Thai? Yeah. Like Thailand? Like Thailand. Like where in Bangkok the ladies have penises. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm fucking done. <laughs> I listen, like I said, I've seen this episode before, but it's just the fact of, you know when you watch something, sometimes the same thing that you found funny is going to make you laugh again. That was it. That was it. Hey, I like her. I like her. I like her. I like her. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm not from Bangkok. <laughs> So have you been to Thailand? I haven't, unfortunately, but I plan to move there in the future. Would you ever like think of like moving there with like your partner one day? That's the plan. So you, see, for, you see, that's what I like. I like the fact of if you know where you come from, yeah. I like the fact of if you've already got in your head a plan of moving back to where you come from. Do you know what I mean? And live there and start a family there, this that and the third. It makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's a different vibe. I like that. Let's go. Anyway. And a partner do. Um, someone that's able to move to Thailand, hopefully within the next five to ten years. Someone that's trustworthy. That's it. Based off that that answer, have you like been heartbroken? Um, yeah, many times. Many times. Yeah. But why do you think you keep getting heartbroken then? Cause I allow myself to let crappy people in and only see the good before it gets too late <laughs> continue if you're a woman watching this continue seeing the good in people it's one of the great qualities that women have is seeing the good in people it's a great quality to have a great great quality don't ever lose it just because someone tried to disrespect your thing in it keep it moving that's all you gotta do let's go Okay. It's a really personal. <laughs> Supposed to be. Do you think you've ever like broken someone else's heart? Yeah. She said really? yeah. <laughs> so how many times have you been in love? Uh, I don't know. Ow! <laughs> nah. The fact that she was really struggling to say, obviously you got to think about it if your heart being broken that, that many times. And let's be real, let's be, there's enough guys that only want to be in it. It is what it is. So obviously, if, if, if she's going with the intention, or most women are going with the intention that they want a relationship and they're getting misled to the point, you know what I mean? Obviously their heart's going to get broken. It is what it is. The game's the game, isn't it? Like, I won't, I ain't gonna front and say, I'm not gonna front in it, it is what it is. We just gotta learn how to deal with it. But let's go. It's like, you don't know, you've lost count of how many times you've been in love. No, it just would have been a bit long to sit here and think about oh, all and my count them out. I yeah, all of, them more, yeah, eh? just to be like, uh, <laughs> nah. Should have asked that before buzzing though. I have a big heart and a lot to offer in it, and I yeah. guess I've just given it to the wrong people. Sounds like a personal problem to me. Oh wow, that's a bit rude. I hope you're getting this on camera. Who is this guy? Man. Yeah, no, you sound like you need to get a bit of understanding of human nature and emotions. Wow. I see, you see women, yeah? They can't, well, some women. Like I said before, in part one, women can't handle rejection, bruv. But at the same time, at the same time, it was his response, do you know what I mean, saying it sounded like a personal problem, which, to be honest with you, it is a personal problem. Do you see what I'm saying? What do you want him to do about it? Do you know what I mean? And if women, you got, women need to understand, men by nature, we're not really empathetic, empathetic or like that. 
women are more empathetic by nature. Do you see what I'm like? Do you see what I'm saying? So, it's what it is. Thanks, but good luck. That is a red flag and a half. Nah. Oh, hi. Okay, look how good it is. I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you excited to be here? Ish. Yeah, nervous. Yeah, you sound a bit nervous. <laughs> Very nervous, very nervous. Yeah, sorry, sorry. So what's your name? I'm Kat. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. You've got a very nice voice. <laughs> Thank you. It's sorry, that's why. Okay. So you're from sorry. Mm-hmm. Where are you from? I'm just a normal dude from London. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'd say sorry, posh. What do you do as a posh person? Do you like play like croquet and like horse riding and stuff like that? No, 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 not that posh. Uh, the stereotype of posh, you know? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Just like tea? tea, a lot of a lot of tea. I drink a lot of tea. Do you? What do you like? I like fruities. I love fruit tea. What type? Berries, any <laughs> berries, wild berries. Because I'm a wild guy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, are you wild? It it depends. It depends. But what's a good first date to you? It sounds kind of pathetic, but like I kind of like picnics. I've never been like on one with someone, but I've always thought that was like a nice idea. Are you are you heavy? I like that. You see, you see, you can tell whether if a woman is feminine or whether man is uh, masculine by the answers they give. Do you see what I mean? The answers she's giving and the way she's giving it is feminine. Remember what I was saying before with thing, the other one. I can't remember her name now. The German one, like, gave me feminine. I never, I wasn't even deep in before who's more feminine and what not. So I wasn't really caring, but now. If I see something, I want to pay attention to it. It is what it is. So I, that's what I pay attention to. Romance then. <laughs> I feel like that's the bad one again. I wouldn't say so, but I've never had like an experience where I've been able to have that opportunity. Have you never been in a relationship? No. Damn. <laughs> How comes there? I was in like a thing, but it never went like more than yeah, that. Yeah, I know what you mean. A, a situationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in a few of those. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been tough out here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why did yours end though? Because I gave him like an ultimatum. I was like, either I'm your girlfriend or we never speak again. He chose the we never speak again option. Women, stop giving guys ultimatums like that. <laughs> You're going to lose out like that. Just take your time. Anyway, let's go. Wow. <laughs> Do you believe men are trash? No. Oh, but yeah. sometimes you have to generalise just like... Oh, yeah, just, just to protect yourself. Just, yeah, like, exactly. So what's your type? <laughs> um, I like kind of sports players. Like, I'm okay. quite big on that. I it's like quite like posh right. guys to be fair, but that's what I really know. Mm, um, that makes being sense. Being from sorry. But would you be open to guys not like posh? Yeah, no, like I'm open to anything, but you just asked me my like type. So. Would you say like your life would be different to like a normal Londoner? No, I, I don't think so. Not anymore, because like obviously I'm out of school now. So mm. I guess it's kind of kind of different because you're kind of stuck in that bubble. Mm. Um, so it's like not that diverse, to be honest. Do you want to have kids? <laughs> like a lot of kids, or like a decent amount. All right, London, listen. If you're a man watching this, do not ask these questions on a first date. Regardless what type of dating it is, speed dating, this dating, whatever dating, Zoom dating, like any of these type of ever dating, seeing seen them on the first first time or hearing from them first time, whatever, like this, whatever. Do not ask them about do they want to have any kids. Let them ask you those questions. Let women ask you those questions. Then, you know what I mean? So, there is a way you can really ask if you, it's like obviously there's certain things you do want to find out about from a woman to see if she's a family type of person but you ask the question about there's certain questions you can ask to engage with a, the, a family oriented person do you know what I mean but ultimately the reality of life is action yeah you have to see it for yourself to see if they genuinely are a family person but let's go how many kids do you want um, I used to want seven. Seven? Yeah, but that's because I have like a babyless name with like some good names. Women. Um, women. But, uh, you see women, yeah? At the moment. Zero? Kinda, yeah. How comes? Well, like, they just kind of ruin everything, don't they? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, 
<laughs> they don't ruin everything. God oh, bless him. Sorry. No, but I mean, I've been like a nanny for quite a while. Oh, so you think they ruin everything? No, they, they don't ruin everything, but like, it's I just, just can't imagine worry. having. Like, I mean, for now, like, if I had them now, it would, like, ruin things, but probably not in hindsight, but, like, if I found out I was pregnant tomorrow, I would just be like, shit. Would you freak out, or would you, would you be like, would you just take it on the chin, or would you panic? I would definitely panic right now. You think? Yeah. So you wouldn't be, you don't think you're mature enough for that yet? No, 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 no. <laughs> immature. No, you're immature, because here's why I'm really immature, especially with that. I swear in with another girl that he shocked because um so it was oh, what was it again? I forgot what it was. But it was something similar. Come on man, you gotta keep the same energy. Doesn't want babies. <laughs> My mum would never approve. My mum wants seven grandkids. You were going somewhere with a seven, but then when you changed it to zero, you just undid so much good work. I'm sorry. It's going so well, you only had 20 sessions, <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I'm young though. So am I. How old are you? 23. No, so yeah, that was it. Because he meant to talk about about Fing being a cougar and he's not ready to settle down yet. But it's like, come on, it's just settling down is the same thing of having kids, no? So it's like, come on, man. Anyway, let's go. I'm 19. Yikes. Yeah. I should electric human. No, please no, please no. <laughs> too mature, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a mature guy. You know, no, you're not. I'm ready for all that <laughs> Well, I didn't secure a date today, but I'm not surprised because I'm an extremely picky guy. Very I just picky. Have specific little things that I can't tolerate. Maybe I'm made to be just me. You don't cut you don't cut it. It's like, it's like, isn't it? I, mean, <laughs> I get it, I get that. Still but, um, the one. Can you rap for me? Meg. Rap for you. Yeah, let me hear something. How many fools tried me back on the road where it's life threatening? <laughs> <laughs> I should have laughed. I big up Maggie Mayhem. She's going to be in the next episode. I'm definitely reacting to that 100%. Um, but yeah. Yeah. But why would she ask him to rap? And why would he actually rap? See how she already caused mayhem within not even we haven't seen the episode yet and she already caused the mayhem. Big up Maggie Mayhem anyway. Um but yeah, the link to the original video is in the description box below. Make sure you go watch that fully, subscribe to World in the Curb UK's channel and stuff like that. And yeah, hit the subscribe button on my channel as well, hit the bell notification. Let's go.